Hello St. Louis Cardinals fan hot news fan, breaking news happened now, just arrived. Like Dua Lipa, Major League Baseball has new rules, one of which is no innings. Specifically, the rule is that when the ball is thrown, there must be two infielders on either side of second base, and all four infielders must be in front of the grass in the outfield. Left-handed hitters across the league rejoiced. Come and stay until the end, I'll tell you everything. You won't believe it, but before I give you this news, because we will update you about everything about the Cardinals news. But what about lefties? Of the Cardinals? Bernie McLash writes some of his thoughts with Danny Mack in the scoop, including a list of batting averages taken from fan graphs. By Miklas. Stats show that the Cardinals' left-handed hitter is among the fewest punters in the 2022 game. That's one of the reasons the Cardinals win games more often than most other teams. Which got me thinking, how did the Cardinals' hitters do it? Already leave that like on this video, because it is very important so you don't miss the latest news from our team of Cardinals, which we posted here, continuing. Looking at the list of batting averages Miklash provided, the reason seemed a little clearer. The Cardinals' lineup consists mostly of right-handers. Left-handers are Nolan Gorman, Lars Nootbaar, and Brendan Donovan, followed by hitters Tommy Edmond and Dylan Carlson. Let's zero in on those and pull out the stats Bernie was seeing on fan graphs, but with a little more context, just for fun. So these are just the raw hit numbers. At about a third of the season's plate appearances, Donovan and Edmund seem to have some success against change based on these averages, but the zero home runs in general seem to suggest something more. Let's look deeper. The power numbers are low, perhaps suggesting that the move is causing a change in the approach of these hitters. For example, I think hitters who know they may be facing a change in two strikes would try to avoid going deep on account, and once faced with a change, they might sacrifice power to guide a hit into the opposite field. Let's see how their hit ball profiles compare with change versus not. So what does all this mean? Honestly, I'm not even sure some things jump out at me here. Firstly though, there simply isn't enough data to draw meaningful conclusions, but that's not what we're doing. We're doing this for fun, and for fun, let's look at some standout hit results. The first thing I noticed was that the ground ball percentage on the turn is higher for most players than it is against a regular defense. This could be due to the change being implemented more when a player is on a less friendly hitter count. The same goes for the hard hit percentage, it's higher against a standard defense, but that could be due to the count the hitter is on too. The fact that counts seem to affect the result more than hits, which brings me to the next interesting thing I noticed. While the Cardinals may have fewer inning possessions than any other team, just because lefties have more possessions doesn't necessarily mean there isn't success. Tommy Edmond and Dylan Carlson started off with nearly identical percentages against changes, with Edmond shooting 111 WRC for a .329 average compared to Carlson's 61 WRC plus with an average of .329. Intuitively, it seems that not pulling the ball will lead to better results, but not all shots are created equal. Are weak hits on the opposite side of the field more likely to result in strong hits on the side of the field where the team changes? Hard to say. Hey Cardinals fan, put your opinion in the comments. It's very important to update you anytime with the latest Cardinals news. Until the next video.